Hey guys, Red Lama here. So in today's video, we're going to be looking at how to get memory temperatures on HiveOS. So this is brand new, and this video is just going to be showing how to get Gminer working on your rigs. And this is really meant for people who already have miners or rigs already on HiveOS. I will create a separate video on how to get started with HiveOS, but this is basically for those who already have rigs on here. So the first thing we need to do is go to your farm and pick any rig. In my case, I am going to switch this rig here, Llama Llama Red Pajama, over. So right now I have it on over here, T-Rex Miner. It's on Ethereum. And what we want to do is we want to update this to the latest version. So you will need to update this to this version shown here in order to activate the Gmino which now supports displaying memory temperatures under Linux for NVIDIA GPUs using the uh, GDDR-R6X memory. So let's do this now. Force upgrade, upgrade. But before I even do this, I want to just shut down the miner and the way you can do this is stop miner the reason I'm stopping the miner is so that way these cards could drop in temperature and then once they drop I can turn off the miner or upgrade it this way these cards don't get shocked from the temperature fluctuation on them alright so now the temperatures have dropped we can now upgrade the rig so we're going to enable force upgrade, reboot after complete, and click upgrade. Alright, so it's back up now. Before I let this start mining, I'm going to go to flight sheet and unset it. Go back to overview. We can see now that the, there is no miner set to this. The patrols are good. We see all the cards here, so nothing got lost. Now we can go back to flight sheet. We can click here, flight sheets, and we can add a new flight sheet. Or G miner. So we are going to mine Ethereum. We're going to choose our wallet. We're going to choose the pool, which I'm going to choose either mine since I'm I've been on that pool for a while. East Coast, West Coast, apply, and then now we select G miner. I can click here to set up, and we can see that we're on the latest version which is the 2.88. The 2.88 is the latest G miner that allows or enables memory temperatures to be read. We can see that in the latest revision of this system. It states here, display memory temperature under Linux for NVIDIA GPUs with GDDR6X memory. After this, we can hit cancel since we're not changing anything. We can change this flight sheet G minor, ETH, and we recreate this flight sheet. We go back to the worker, Mama Mama Red Pajama. We can go over the flight sheets and we can see G minor here under ETH and hit launch. Now we can go back to the overview. Alright, so as it's loading up now make sure you update your watchdog if you have one enable right now in the past this was set up for T-Rex Miner but now we're on G Miner so make sure you guys update your watchdog alright so now it is mining now and we can see an error code here saying G Miner G Miner minimal hash rate is not set this is in reference to the watchdog which I have not updated yet now you can see it's only displaying the memory temperature, or it's displaying the core temperature right now. It's not showing memory temperature. And in order to show memory temperature, you have to do the following. Click on remote access and start Hive Shell. Next, Hive Shell will show up and there's a little icon here. You have to click on this icon. Next, you have to write in Miner. All right, there you go. You can see the memory temperature now. We can see the core as the first value. Second value is the memory temperature. 
and we can see that three cards are in the yellow and red. Four or five cards are already in the green, which is okay. Uh, this gigabyte is this card number six, and that's thermal throttling right now. So if we go back into Hive OS, if we go back into Hive OS, refresh this, we can see that card is dropping in hash rate. And the shell confirms that this minor or G minor is confirming that yes, it is thermal throttling. And that's pretty much it guys. So now Hive OS can show the memory temperatures on your GPU if you're really interested in seeing if your cards are thermal throttling and what you need to do next. So for me, I know in the previous video I said I was gonna thermal I mean I was gonna repad this. I have not. I will one day. But uh R1 Greg 3377 you suck. I have to repad yours first and then I'll get to this. But alright guys that's the end of this video. Really appreciate you guys sticking around. Please hit the thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see more content like this. And I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.